Hello, I'm Lauren Lewis with Power for Parkinson's. Welcome to our Young Onset Circuit class. Um, before we get started, let me just remind you that this class is meant for people with mild symptoms. You do need to be able to exercise standing for an hour. We'll be getting on and off the floor quite a bit today, so make sure that that is something that you're comfortable with. Have a chair nearby for s safety and stability. Today we'll be using some light weights. If you don't have weights, you can of course do all of these exercises without them, or you can um, grab some cans or some water bottles. Uh, and, and use those as well. Those will uh, also work just fine. Um, this circuit class consists of three rounds of six exercises. Each round will be done um, on a timed minute. And I will explain each exercise for our first round. The second round will be focusing more on the benefits for Parkinson's disease. And the third round, our challenge round, so please stay around for the last round, is where we add some cognitive challenge to the, uh, to the same exercise. We're just going to make it a little more fun. So uh, find yourself a nice, safe, open space. Get yourself some water. Put on, we're going to put on some music, and let's get started. Warm up first, marching right, left, right, right, left. Swing those arms, nice and big. Good, widen your legs. Bring them back. Heel front, heel back, heel double time, heel. Heel, heel, heel. Change the arms, out. Bring the arms down. Bring them up. March it out again. Lift those legs. Add a modified jack. Watch right, center, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, and the arms up. Now let's take it to doubles. Two on each side. Back to singles for eight, seven, six. Three, two, let's do some knees. Ready? Loose. All right. Heart rate's nice and high, hopefully, or at least warming, starting to get up. Bring those arms all the way up and out. Deep inhale with me. And exhale. All right, walk it off just a little. Grab some water, and we're going to get started with our first of our six exercises. The first exercise is a bicycle. We're going to hit the ground. You can do this on a chair. Let me show you on the floor first, and then I'll show you a modification on the chair. Um, so we're going to get down on the floor. You're going to lie down, put your hands uh, on the, up on your head, not on your neck. You don't want to force your neck. Um, you're going to bring, start with both knees bent. You're going to take your right leg, extend it, and your right arm crosses over and goes toward that knee. You don't have to touch the knee. Crosses over, and then you hit the ground. Then we're going to add a, a center crunch, and then we reverse it, and we go to the other side. Notice one elbow stays on the ground when this elbow comes up. That's for back support. All right, you want to be nice and easy to your lower back. To modify this exercise, you can do this on a chair. Sitting back here, leaning back, same thing, one leg at a time. Then you can lift both legs just up and then go to the other side, lift both legs up and reach. If you are going to sit on the chair, make sure that your back is flat and you're just twisting through your core, not uh, wrenching your back. So we're going to put on our one minute timer and our music and work on this first exercise. What we're working on here is all core. We're working on your sides, your front and your back. That's the core, your core. All right, here we go. 
across, center, and cross to the other side. Center, cross to the other side. Go at your pace, think about what you're doing, slow and controlled to make better movements, to make it more muscular. A lot of people like to do this bicycle really, really fast, and that will make you tired, but you won't necessarily be strengthening your muscles. You'll be increasing your endurance, but you may not be strengthening the muscles as well as when you do a nice and slow and controlled. All right, how we do? Really feeling that on all sides, good for you. All right, we're gonna stay down for our second exercise. We're gonna be doing push-ups with arm extensions. You can do push-ups in a number of different ways. You can do them on your knees, on a nice big diagonal here, a push-up down, and then here's the arm extensions. One arm in front, the other arm in front, and then again, staying in that nice long diagonal, come down and push. A little more uh, fun. <laughs> is you bring yourself up to your toes, legs nice and wide, come down. You only have to go to 90 degrees on those arms. You don't have to bring your chest to the floor. And then one arm at a time extends. You can also modify this even more by coming to a chair on a larger diagonal uh, or a diagonal and doing the push-up right here. Elbows out, one arm, other arm or you can even use the, the, uh, the wall, and I promise you're still getting plenty of that, uh, of the uh, muscular exercise here. If you wanna make it just a little more challenging, especially if you're using the wall and you find it's a little too easy, but it's where you belong, you can make it a little more fun by instead of using your arms in front of you, take those arms out to the side. That will make it more challenging and still using where you belong in, in terms of the wall, the, the, the the diagonal of your exercise. So here we go. We're going to put on our minute and um, our music. Let's try it. This is a great exercise for strengthening your arms, your chest, and your abs again. This is an ab exercise. Notice I'm not going all the way to the floor because I want to be good to my shoulders. As long as I'm coming to 90 right here and pushing away, I'm using my chest, all the muscles necessary for this exercise. Now, if I want to make it a little harder, a little more fun, bring your feet a little closer. And working a lot more on balance by doing that. Trying to control those arm extensions, trying to control my body so I'm not uh, swinging and swaying. By doing so, really working on balance, really working on core. All right, that was a nice long minute, wasn't it? <laughs> We're gonna get off the floor now, bring your stronger leg, your right leg usually for most of you, directly in front of you, 90 degree angles. Hands on your thigh, head up, let's get off the floor. All right, the next exercise you're gonna need your weight for, only one weight for this one. We're gonna do a front lunge swap. What that is, is we're gonna take a nice big front lunge. I'm gonna go with my right leg. The weight is in my left arm. I'm gonna swap the weight, come down to a lunge, swap the weight to my left arm, and step back. Big step forward, swap the weight, and come back. All right, for this exercise, you may want to do this next to the wall or have that chair nearby for balance and safety. All right, we're going to put on our timer. Let's get going. This exercise strengthens your arm for that bicep for uh, holding the weight and, of course, your legs. We're working front of leg mostly, but the pushing back will also work the back of your leg. Here we go. I'm not bending at the waist, I'm trying to bend at the knee. Stay 
standing nice and tall, dipping instead of bending from your waist. You're gonna really feel a nice work in those legs. You're gonna thank me. Maybe not tomorrow. <laughs> Going to that opposite arm, or opposite leg, rather. And nice job. Let's put the weights down. For our next exercise, you don't need any weights, you just need some floor. <laughs> the next exercise we're gonna do is two jacks and a squat. You can do these high impact jacks. One, two, squat, stand, and then two, do two more. Or you can do the modified jack, which is right side, left side, and then come down to the squat. When I say squat, I'm talking about an invisible chair right here, sitting back, Try not to let those knees fall forward. You're sitting back, so it's gonna look like this. Right, left, sit back, stand up. Left, right, sit back, stand up. And you're just alternating right, left if you're doing it modified. Otherwise, uh, if you're just jumping, there's no right, left, it's just jump. Here we go, put on our music. This is a little cardio, so you're gonna, not just working on your legs, you're going to be working on your cardio as well. So yay for us. Strengthen that um, heart. Here we go. Notice I'm slowing down on the squat. Because I want to make it more muscular. Make sure your head is tall, back is flat, slightly arched, not round. Reach for it in front, that'll help with balance. Next exercise we're going to be working on is upper body. We'll be strengthening our upper body. You're going to need your weights for this. We're going to do a curl and a fly. A curl is not a swinging motion, although I see that happening a lot in the gyms. <laughs> a curl is really a very controlled motion. I'm going to ask you to start with your palms facing up, your arms off your body. Right here, you're going to curl, come down, slightly bent arm, not fully extended and not swinging. So we're going to Control and drop those arms and then from here rotate your hands to face each other and a fly is about a shoulder height It doesn't have to go any higher, but notice. I'm not lifting with my wrists I'm lifting with my elbows coming first. So be very controlled. All right, so it's a curl and a fly I'm gonna make this just a little more fun by doing this on with all your weight on one side of, of your body You don't have to lift up to a full knee just put your weight, I'm gonna be on my toe, all on one side of your body. And maybe if that gets too much, switch sides or wait till the second round and use the other side for your second round. We're gonna put on our music, see how this feels. Work on really concentrating on where your body is and where your, your arms are. Strengthening those arms, here we go. On the fly, think about taking your shoulder blades and pushing them down instead of in toward each other, push down towards your floor. Biceps, no swinging, placing. Bend, place, lift. Stand tall, abs are tight, shoulders are up. Concentrate. Never extend those arms with um, a locked elbow or make sure they're soft. Keep them round. Almost done. And 
Nice job, great. All right, our last round, our number six exercise is cardio. This is all about moving quickly. So I'm not looking for form here at all. I'm looking for movement. We're gonna be doing my, um, mountain climbers. I'm gonna show you uh, workings from the, from the <laughs> wall down to the floor. Mountain climbers, you do wanna be careful of your back in a mountain climber, so we have to watch a little form. We're gonna start here on the wall. Your arms are directly in front of your shoulders. Your legs are fully extended. You're gonna bring one leg at a time up to your chest. You do this in a running uh, motion if you can. So you wanna try to lift those legs nice and high. You can do this a little, a little harder on a chair. Make sure that chair is against a wall or something so it doesn't move. Hands are here, directly over your shoulders, and once again, those knees come into your chest. And then, of course, my favorite, on the floor, where I'm going to start, hands are directly underneath your shoulders, I say it each time, and the knees are here, and for this one, you can slow it down just a little, maybe not make it into a run, but get those knees in, or you can take it into a run, or you can modify it and do like 10 runs, 10, st uh, 10 slower. Whatever it takes to get your heart rate up and to keep moving. So let's put on our music and let's try to do one full minute of full out cardio. Go for it. Here we go. Pull your belly in tight. Try not to be upside down. Your hips low. When I say upside down, I'm talking about like this. Don't drop your head. Keep those knees directly in front of you. Kick it out, we only have a few more seconds. Go for it, go for it, go for it! <laughs> Nice work. If you're on the floor, stronger leg in front, hands down, head up. Come on up, let's grab some water. We finished our first round, good for you. All right, second round. Second round, now that we understand the exercise, you know all the modifications. Second round, we're gonna really focus on why we're doing this. The first exercise, once again, is our bicycle. There's a lot of reasons why bicycles are great if you have Parkinson's. Number one, you're real safe, you're on the floor, you don't have to worry about balance. Number two, you're actually working on balance, a major uh, common symptom of Parkinson's. You wanna strengthen and make sure that your balance is really good. Third reason, you're working toward your opposite. You're taking your uh, one elbow to your opposite knee, contralaterally, this is important for gait, reminding that body to go to the opposite side. We're working on trunk rotation, rigidity. It's a great exercise. You see how many different uh, symptoms we can really work on. Let's put our music back on. Think about really working on those opposites, controlling it. Think about rotating at the trunk. Here we go. Way through. How are we doing? Make sure you're exhaling on the hard part. Don't hold your breath. Try not to yank your head. All right, that felt great, huh? All right, second set. A little harder. Getting tired, good, that's perfect, just what we want. We're gonna roll over now and do our push-ups. Again, you can use, you can modify this on the wall or on your chair. You're gonna roll over. You can also do these on your knees. The, uh, um, 
The purpose of this for Parkinson's is really about balance. It's not just the push-up part, it's actually the arm extensions that I like for this. So by, uh, here's your push-up, that'll strengthen your arms. If you do fall, you need those arms to help and protect you. But here's the balance, one arm and the other arm. It's a nice, great way of working on balance um, and a lot more functional than just standing on one foot because you're actually shifting your weight and finding your balance. So let's think more about the arm extensions than the push-ups. Push-ups are important, do them well, but really work on the arm extensions. Let's go. I'm gonna hold those arm extensions just a little longer than I did the first time, so I can really work on them. Again, trying not to shift my body too much. got this, we're more than halfway through. All right, nice. Whew, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> One leg in front, hands on, head up. Come on up, join me on the floor. The next exercise is our front lunge. Front lunge is important. It's a great exercise um, because it reminds your body to go large and forward. Getting away from those small steps, it reminds you to take a big, big, big step forward. And then by dipping down, strengthening those legs, really important. And then we're swapping the opposite arm to the same arm. So step forward with the opposite arm and leg, come down and swap. Think about taking the large step in this one. Here we go. Opposites. Big step. Drop your chest. my balance. Okay, weights down. Our next exercise is a little bit of a few things. Um, it does involve balance because if you're doing the plyometric, that jump, it does take a, a quite a bit of balance, but also shifting your weight right, left. Shifting right and left will throw your balance. So we're working on a functional way of working on balance. And then again, the squat, shifting your weight from down to a standing position is all about balance also. So yes, it's a great leg strengthening exercise, but for us, we're working on balance. Okay, here we go.
Heart rate's up on that one also, so as I said, you get a benefit, double benefit on that exercise. Our next exercise is the curl and fly. You always wanna make sure your upper body is strong, but we're working, the fly will remind you to stand tall. It's hard to get your shoulders really, really working if you're in this position. You wanna work a nice balanced shoulder by standing tall, getting your elbows slightly behind your body. That's also gonna work your shoulder and your upper back up here. So this, although the curl is, yes, important, you wanna make sure you're placing the arms. This is about posture, making sure that you're standing tall, getting those arms out to the side. And guess what? More balance, one leg. So if you notice, there's a theme here, lots of balance. I think every single exercise today, we have a balance element in it intentionally. Balance is really important. Let's practice this curl and fly, strengthening our upper body, working on posture and balance. Let's go. Watch those arms. Make sure the elbows are leading. When I say leading, that means that they're up the same height as the wrist. And I'm on. All my weight is on one side of my body. Place the weights before you lift. No swinging. We're not swinging here, we're lifting. Open up the chest, standing tall. Posture. And again, don't worry about the pace I'm going at, work at your pace. This is for you. I think I could have done another minute of those. I love this. All right, but we'll have another minute in our next round. All right, the last exercise, this is our cardio uh, round. On the floor, on the wall, on the chair. I'm going on the chair this time. I wanna really try to run it out. Last time I, um, I was not running, I was on the floor lifting my legs, um, which was good, and I got my heart rate up. I knew it because I felt it when I got off the floor. But now I'm gonna do it a little, go a little faster make it a little easier on my shoulders so I can work a little faster on my legs. Speed is important. You can actually train your, your body. If bradykinesia is uh, one of your symptoms, you can actually train your body to move faster, to remind all those sensors in your brain to move faster. That's what we're doing here. We're finding those sensors. We're triggering those sensors. We're making you work faster. So let's go. Notice I'm not looking down, I'm looking straight ahead. Really tight. Go for it. It's only a minute. You can do anything for a minute. Walk it off, don't ever stop. If you're doing cardio, you never wanna just stop. Walk it off, deep breath in with me. Four exhales out. Grab some water, cool down a bit, because our third round, my favorite round, is about to begin. We're going back to the bicycle, on the floor, legs extended, Range of motion also, get those legs nicely fully extended. Make sure that one leg is fully extended when the other leg is bent. Then both legs bent, then the other side. This time, every time you go to one side, not in the middle, side, center, side, I want you to come up with something that, things that you ride. And I'm gonna give you the first one, a bicycle. So things that you ride, come on down, find your positioning on the chair or on the floor. Things that you ride. Say them nice and loud. Let everybody know what you're doing. Here we go. Control 
these motions to think about things you ride. Were you able to fill the whole minute with things that you ride? I think that was not one of my harder ones, so good for hopefully you were able to do it. I, I almost made it, <laughs> okay? The next exercise, push-ups with those arm extensions. Again, we're thinking about really working on balance, extending those arms. Okay, now I want you to come up with jobs that you don't have to get dressed up for, okay? Anything that you can think of, a job that you don't have to either wear a uniform or get put on nice clothing, just you can just show up. All right, here we go. Push-ups, arm extensions, go. Done, just in time. All right, you may want to give yourself just a little stretch before we go on. Push down with your, uh, with your chest to the floor. That'll just release that lower back if you need it. And your shoulders, one arm in front. Let's get up. <laughs> front lunge swap, grab your weight. This time, the challenge is when you go to your right leg, when that right leg is in front, I want you to come up with things that you would find in a kitchen things that you would find in a kitchen. Then when you swap and you go to your left side, I want you to just say the, the months of the year, in order, <laughs> just not randomly, all right? Kitchen things and months of the year, you have to go back and forth and remind yourself what you have said or haven't said yet. Here we go. Remember opposite also. So, to the opposite left. Big step. Good job. All right. Ah. All right. Weights down. Now we're doing those two jacks and a squat. Now, every time you squat, not every time you jack, because there's not, I don't think there's, well, there's probably enough of them, but I'm going to give you some time to think about it. Every time you squat, I want you to come up with a dish, a food, <laughs> a food that has eggs in it. 
It doesn't have to be the main ingredient, but it's foods that you use eggs to prepare. All right, I hope we have some, some egg lovers out there. Here we go. And they force you to stay in that squat just a little longer, right? <laughs> that one <laughs> I was able to do that one how about you that was for some for those of you that cook maybe a little easier for those of you that don't very hard <laughs> okay last not last but the next exercise is our curl where we're placing our arms not swinging and the fly where we're working on posture opening up the arms strength strengthening our shoulders and upper back and you're on on one leg if you can put all your weight on one leg so Working on balance. Now we're going to think of things, animals that fly. Animals that fly. Okay, um, here we go. actually found that a little harder than I expected to. <laughs> All right, last round. This is our go for it circuit uh, cardio round. This time I want you to do your mountain climber. Um, and I want you to think of, actually, I don't want you to think about, well, uh, you're still thinking, sorry. I want you to take the number 175, the number starting from 175. I want you to minus six, and then minus six, and then minus six. So this, uh, this challenge is just subtracting six from the last number. All right, starting at 175, find your positioning on the wall, on the floor, on the chair. Here we go. Walk it off. Give yourself a hand. You did it. Three rounds, six exercises. Bravo. Good for you. I'm going to give myself a hand as well. I deserve it. Great job. Don't leave me yet. I want to cool down, get your heart rate down nice and safe. It's also because a lot of these exercises involve contracting the muscles, which is good. Builds those muscles. We want to make sure we're extending the muscles. Also working on flexibility. 
lower, lowers your chance of injury when you've got nice flexible muscles. So join me on the floor or on your chair. We're going to start off on your back. Actually, you need to be on the floor for this one. <laughs> All the way on the floor. We're going to start off on your back. We're going to take one leg into your chest right here and the other leg. And notice I'm holding from behind my knee. I prefer to hold behind the knee instead of on top. I want to be good to all those soft tissue on your knee. So I'm going to hold from underneath, pushing my other leg to the floor as much as I can, stretching out my hip flexor on my, the leg that's down, and I'm stretching out my hamstring and glutes, back of my leg on the leg I'm holding. Good, and we're just going to stay right here, keep that leg on the floor, and how about let's extend the leg that was bent. Just bring it up. Some of you may be able to get a full 90 degree angle, good for you. Some of you may only get here, good for you. Either way, it's fine. We're working on flexibility. We want to improve that length of those muscles. So just hold it here for another few seconds, bring it back into your chest and down. Let's reverse that. Now we're going to use the other leg, bring it into your chest extend the leg that was lifted before, working on your uh, psoas, your uh, hip flexor right here, and hamstring and glute right here. Just hold that stretch. Feels nice, feels really good actually after all those mountain climbers and all that work we did today. Nice, now let's extend that leg up. Again, you can help it, that's not cheating, it's just lengthening that leg a little more, helping it along. Again, if your leg is all the way over here, that's fine. You're working on whatever level you're on. Get that leg, help it along. Just bring it nice and high, as, as high as you can, and hold. Good, bring both legs into your chest. Nice, let's stretch out those obliques, the side of your body. So we're gonna take your entire body, shoulders included, and roll over into a fetal position. This is a safe, nice, safe way of doing what's often called a ringer, or an uh, open, open book, I think some people call it. Now we're going to take just the shoulders and extend them all the way open to the floor or wherever you can reach. It's actually a little safer to move your shoulders than to move your legs. Legs weigh a lot more. <laughs> so if you, you know, just to, for safety, you want to move your shoulders instead of legs. Hold it right here, get a nice stretch. This should feel really good. Feel free to say, ooh, and ah, as you're stretching. Good, I'm going to rotate now, bring it all the way back to the fetal position, roll my whole body all the way over to the other side, and open the book. And now we're stretching out the other side. Just hold it right here and enjoy that wonderful stretch throughout your lower back and your obliques. We used a lot of those muscles today in our push-up arm extensions, in the bicycle, in the mountain climbers. We used the, all those muscles then. All right, so we're going to, again, rotate all the way over and come onto all fours. Walk your, keep your hips exactly where they are, straight over your knees. Walk your hands as far forward as you can and just drop your chest to the floor. And this is one of those real ooh moments. Ooh, this feels so good. You're just lengthening those arms and your chest. Again, this is for your push-ups and your mountain climbers and those flies. Really lengthening those, all those muscles that we worked so hard today. Good, walking back up. You're gonna take your stronger leg, bring it in front, 90 degree angle right here. Hands on your thigh, lift up. All right, face me. <laughs> <laughs> Arms overhead, nice big stretch to the ceiling, lift as high as you can, a little higher, just a little higher. Feel every muscle in your body contracting and lifting. Give yourself a big good girl, good, atta girl, atta guy. <laughs> Give yourself a good job because you did a great job. Let's release those arms and finish together. Yay! Thank you so much for joining me today. I, um, I hope you'll try this a few times later in the week. The more you practice this, the better you'll get at it, the stronger you get when you repeat things. Uh, repetition is key to exercise. So if you do, that's we give you a month to work on it, to practice it. If you do it once or twice a month, you'll be shocked at how much better you will get at it. You may never get perfect at it. We're not looking for perfect. That's for somebody else. We're looking for better. You want to just keep working on better. And as I said, today was all about balance. We want to improve our balance to stay safe. So work on these. Think about really focusing on, on the different elements that we talked about for Parkinson's. And I will see you next month. Take care.